Here we're looking at the R150 portable power station by a company, I think you pronounce it SYNQ. This is a 27,000 milliamp, 99 watt hour capacity with an AC output of 150 watts. This power station allows you to charge up your phone, your laptop. I've been able to power up cameras, baby monitors, some lights, fans. Been able to charge my camera batteries whilst also having the option to use the light that's on the back whilst giving you three ways to charge this unit. This is one of the smaller size power stations you'll see but can be very handy and lower in price. They also do bigger versions of this. I will leave links and information for you to check this all out. Now here you can see the charging cable that comes with it. This is one of the methods to charge up the unit allowing you to plug into a normal wall socket. And here you'll see the battery indicator going up. This is a cigarette light cable so you can plug it into your car in the cigarette lighter and charge up the unit. And the third cable allows you to plug into the output and plug in any cigarette lighter devices something like a small fridge. So on the front we have one 12 volt input to charge the unit, two 12 volt outputs, two USB ports and one USB-C port. On the display screen you'll see the watts for the USB. Now we're going to have a look at plugging into the three pin socket. And first I choose to charge my laptop. So here I've pushed the orange AC button on the front of the unit. And once the charge is plugged in you'll see the wattage for the AC which is the power being used for the laptop. On average, using an appliance that will be using 30 watts will last you around two and a half hours on this power station. And if you're looking for longer time than that, or to power up some bigger appliances, you can upgrade to the bigger sizes, like the G600, the 600 watt hours. Being able to have this portable power station, allowing you to plug in the three pin plug, means that you can use the original chargers for small appliances and small devices wherever you are. Now here I test it on a light around the house by pressing the AC button. Here you can see the amount of watts used for this light as shown on the display screen. I did try plugging into a heater to see what happened as a heater uses up a lot of power and I found it was just the heater cut out and that was it. Now we're going to test the portable power station with this fan. You'll notice when I press the AC button, the power cuts out. I then also decide to add another device to the power station and charge my phone. So here you can see the AC watts and the USB watts that's being used at the same time. Thanks for watching. I'll leave links and information in the description below. Like and subscribe. Welcome to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.